In a post-apocalyptic world of heavy metal and dark fantasy, the only thing able to save humans from orcs, lizardmen, and other monsters is something even more evil trapped inside the body of a 14-year-old kid, and that evil can only be released by a kiss from a virgin. Starting with the positives, Dark Schneider is an entertaining, charismatic, awesome character. He's so fun to watch just because of how charming he is. He doesn't give a fuck, and his personality just oozes machismo. He's such a cool character. This show was just fun to watch. Mixed with its high, over-the-top action, funny dialogue, and just really cool, inventive powers, it just makes a really cool action show. And I had a fun time going through this show. It was just a lot of fun, and it was paced very well. Speaking of the powers, if you're a big fan of JoJo's Bizarre Adventures because of its music references, then let me tell you, this is the anime for you because there's so many heavy metal references. Some characters are named after bands and artists, and even one of the main villains is literally from KISS. So there's a lot of heavy metal in this anime. One of my favorite things about this anime has to be its soundtrack. The background music was awesome, as well as the OP. And the ending theme is amazing. I loved that ending theme so much. The song is just great. The visuals are kind of... They're very, very sus, but the song is just so good. And the full version of the song is really good, too. I listen to it all the time on YouTube. In fact, I'm listening to the song right now as I edit this video. My final positive for Bastard 2022 is that it does have a solid ending. Now, we do know that there is going to be a Bastard Season 2 coming soon. And at the after credits scene, there is some lead up towards that second season. But if that never happened, and we got the ending that we got, and there was no more Bastard coming out, I think I'd be fine with it. The only part where I'm kind of mixed on with this anime is the visuals. It's not the worst looking anime, and sometimes it looks pretty good, but it's just very inconsistent. Sometimes the battles will look really, really good, but sometimes I'll just have some pretty nasty CGI, and I'm just not a fan of it. Also, for the art style, I think this is just better done in the original 90s OVA with the 90s aesthetic. I just think this property looks way better back then and then does now. Not saying it looks bad or anything like that, I'm just saying the older art style looked better. Moving on towards my negatives, and my first negative isn't really a personal thing for me. It's just something I could see some people having when they watch this anime. And it's that the jokes for this show can get a little stale as the show goes on. It definitely likes to repeat the same joke a lot with Dark Schneider being this massive pervert, touching the girls, all of that stuff. And I could understand why some people wouldn't be into that. Now a negative that I do have is that while Dark Schneider and a handful of other characters are pretty cool, the rest of the cast are not that interesting. All of the villains are weak, generic, run-of-the-mill kind of villain that you can expect from a first time writer. And a lot of the girls in this show, while they have a cool introduction, they just don't do anything after their introduction. And I wish we could have gotten more out of them because they seemed kind of cool and they seemed kind of like nice people. So it's kind of a shame that they were just kind of throwaways after their initial introduction. Overall, I had a good time with Bastard 2022. It's not perfect, and I can see why some people wouldn't like it, but I didn't really take this show seriously and I came out enjoying it. But that's just me. Some people may hate this show, and you know what? That's fair. I can totally understand why. Now, throughout this review, I didn't want to compare this anime to the original 1992 anime just because it would be kind of unfair because the original has only six episodes where they couldn't really develop the characters or have anything like that, whereas this anime has the luxury of having 24 episodes, and some characters get way more development than they would have ever had in the original, so I can't really hold it against the original for that. However, I will say, the dub in the original is better. 
That's just my opinion. The, the dub in this anime, this past year 2022 anime, is not bad, but the original is just better, in my opinion. Anyway, let me know down below what you thought of Bastard 2022. Did you like it? Did you not? Do you prefer the original? Either way, let me know down below, and I'll see you next time. Big thanks to Ash the Man, Miasma Senpai, and Warp Bay for supporting me on Patreon. You guys rock.